fresh out of the mailbox. Roja's new release randomly appeared on my doorstep. I had no idea it was coming, so we're going to be smelling that shit together. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can take a snort at Apex. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the V to the A. I haven't heard anything about Rose's new release, Apex, other than seeing it on Instagram and thinking the bottle looks cool. But just because the bottle looked cool doesn't mean the fragrance is going to be cool. Yes, this was sent to me. I had no idea they were sending it to me, so shout out to Rosia. But as a disclaimer goes, I'm going to give you my true and honest opinion, whether you believe it or not. And at the end of the day... Every content creator is going to tell you the same shit and you're still going to interpret it any way you want. So does that really matter? No. So I didn't look up the notes of this fragrance. I didn't look up anything. We will look up the notes and go through it and I will give you my actual first impressions of this unboxing together. Here is the packaging of the Apex box. It actually has like a nice little consistency to the box. It's a slider box which comes out like so. Oh, it looks like it's a slider with some sort of sleeve on it. Very dope. I love presentation. Uh, this seems to be a whole... Oh my god, it's like fucking... What is this? Oh, interesting. Looks like a... Looks like a gypsy card or something. Unearth the essence. You doing witchcraft and shit? You trying to mesmerize me and shit to give you a positive review? Is that what we doing, Rosha? And then this little booklet here. From a collection of 12 cards, your apex animal has chosen you. I'm an owl? I'm a hooting bitches? What the fuck we doing out here? Pretty interesting. I don't know what that has to do with the fragrance. Clearly, if I was a real reviewer, I would do more research on the shit, but I don't. And here is the bottle. This should look fly. This should look very, very dope. It's like a very, very dark, dark black. Graduating into some greenness, if you could tell here. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but it's really pitch black graduating into some green. So anticipating by the color, just judging the book by its cover, I'm anticipating it's going to be a strong green fragrance. I haven't looked up anything. I'm not part of any forums or groups. or no, I don't know what to expect from this fragrance at all. So it's going to be a pleasant surprise. So let's just jump right into it. I really love the matte black finish on the cap. I know it has nothing to do with the fragrance, but these black finishes and appearance does look fly. But as I always say, it's all about that hugo. So let's give this a whirl and see what's what. All right, first impressions of Roja's Apex. Holy old school. Hmm. I'm not mad at this at all. This definitely smells old school barbershop fougere type fragrance. It has a similar profile that I've smelled before for sure. This ain't in that mass appealing panty dropping kind of fragrance space. This is more old school gentlemanly mobster kind of vibes. Let's try it on skin. I don't find this to be bad at all. Let's see what's up. Let's see on skin because test strips don't really, you know, give you the full vibes. Oh, it's extra green. Extra green, very leathery. This smells like some Shebra fur balsam, leather, shave foam, possible lavender. It has like some remnants of like a dry honey. This is old school vibes. This ain't gonna be something that's for everybody. Not, a, not at all. Hold up. Cause this shit smells like, this is reminding me of something. Hold up. All right. So this might sound a little out of left field. But for some reason, I'm getting a combination of these two fragrances. Hugo Boss's Baldisserini mixed with like Chanel Analteus, as I like to call it. It feels like a combination of both of these joints. So let me see if I just mix them up on a test strip. Talk about like some rustic tripe layering. If see if that really comes up. Because that's what's picturing in my head. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I'm interpreting. Hmm... 
nah, nah, it was in my brain more. I don't know what I was expecting from Apex. Based on the color, I knew it was gonna be a green type fragrance, but I thought it was gonna be maybe a little bit more animalic. This just smells to me like an old school barbershop-ish fougere fragrance with some green elements, lavender, leather, really smells like that old school barbershop fougere kind of vibe. It's not a bad fragrance at all, but it's not like crazy mass appealing. Like, oh my God, somebody's hymen is just gonna bust open because of this shit. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Let me look up the notes. All right, so the notes are orange, mandarin, orange, bergamot, lemon, pineapple, jasmine, cystus, leather, patchouli, ambergris, cypress, rum, galbanum, fir balsam, tobacco, elemi, amber, cashmere, wood, musk, juniper berries, benzoin, sandalwood, labdanum, oak moss, and olabdanum. All right, so while this dries down, I don't get that pineapple like that. I get a sweetness, but it doesn't pop as pineapple. You get the leather, you get the fur balsam, you get the tobacco, the amber, now that it's mentioned, I do get it. I think the amber is what's providing me the sweetness, to be honest. You get muskiness, you do get juniper berry. I don't think it's a bad fragrance. I just don't think it's gonna be a super penny dropping, mass appealing fragrance, to be honest with you. I just think it's nice. I don't think it's amazing, but let's give it a test drive. I smell classy. There's nothing crazy about this joint. I smell classy, it's clean, it's leathery, it's green. There's really nothing else more to say about it. It's green, it's not crazy animalic, it's not super creative, brand new, oh my God, I've never smelled something in this space before. It smells good, it smells natural, it smells of good quality. I don't think it's gonna be a fragrance that the masses are gonna want, like something like an Elysium. Nor do I think they were going for that, but there are other options as well. For me, it's a quarter ball spray. Shout out to Roja for sending me this joint. I mean, it smells nice, but I don't think it's gonna be one for the masses personally. I think this is catered to particularly people who like that old school barbershop fougere type vibe with a nice leathery note and some fur balsams, but I don't think it's gonna be something that the masses are gonna be running for to pick up personally. Just giving you my opinion. Again, this was sent to me, but I'm keeping it all the way a thousand. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Who I know, 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 who I for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>